Hi guys. Um, today has been a day. Like, <laughs> it has really just been a day. Um, I participated in something called the Day of Caring. And you basically just volunteer at different places um, in my city to do whatever. Um, it's something that was organized by my job, the school that I work at. And um, I had to go to our town's community clinic and they had us cleaning. <laughs> but it wasn't so bad. But I woke up this morning got awful early. I got up at like six because I am one of those don't roll out of bed until like 30 minutes before I have to be somewhere kind of people. But I, I literally, when I, when I got off of work or out of class last night, I just went straight into my bedroom and just, I crawled into bed at like eight and didn't get out until like six o'clock this morning. And I had to leave my house or my apartment at seven, which is earlier than I typically have to leave. And it was pouring. I mean, it literally went from being almost a hundred degrees yesterday to like, I don't know, 40 something, which for me, isn't that bad. Like I love the cold, it's great. I, I grew up in Indiana, I'm used to like, Cold and snow and just crap weather but the rain oh oh and my umbrella was broken and I was trying to carry my bag and a soda and my keys <laughs> it was just y'all should have seen me this morning because I was a hot mess okay this is the leftover of that hot mess Obviously, we're not here for ASMR today. Um, I am getting ready to go on vacation. Josh and I are supposed to be going to Galveston for the week. Um, I am told the water is still warm, but it's Galveston. And if you've ever been there, nobody really goes to Galveston for the water because it's gross. <laughs> but I love the beach. Oh, if I could just pitch a tent and live on the beach. I would die, but I would totally love it. Oh. But um, I have been really struggling. Really. So I had to go, um, I didn't get a period. Okay, let me preface that. <laughs> um, I told you last time that I was starting fertility medication. And so last month was my first cycle with that. So I was on 50 milligrams of Clomid and two and a half milligrams of Femara. And most of the time people are prescribed like one or the other, according to the research that I've done. Um, I was given both. I didn't think anything of it, didn't matter. And like I said, I went in, um, had the ultrasound, had three really good eggs. Um, they sent me home with just this little injection that you give yourself. I did that on September 13th. And then that was a Friday. And then the following Wednesday, no, like a week later, I went and had blood work done. And my progesterone was like out of 59. So I ovulated. Um, and so they tell you when, you when you take the injection, it's HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone. So they tell you not to take a pregnancy test for at least two weeks um, because you will get a positive result because of the HCG from the injection. And so I took one just because I wanted to know what it was like to get a positive. And I kept testing so that I could test when the injection was out of my system. So that way I would know that if I got another positive, 
after getting a negative than it would be an actual positive. But my doctor was like, don't do that. Don't do it. He said, wait two weeks. So I, I did. And two weeks came and went and I didn't get a period. <sighs> but I wasn't pregnant either. It has now been, oh, I can't check my phone because that's what I'm using. Um, somewhere from 41 to 43 days without a period. I went in last week for another ultrasound because my doctor said if I didn't get my period after 36 days, then I needed to come in. And so I didn't get my period. And they did the ultrasound and I don't really know how to describe it because it was just so confusing. And I asked my doctor, I, I sent him a message and I was like, can you please just break this down in words for me? Because I, I need, I need to go over it over and over so that I can process it so that it makes sense to me. But essentially my body, there are two phases to your cycle and boys, you don't have to watch this because I wouldn't want to, but if you're curious, I will do my best to explain. I think I may have already. There are two phases to your cycle. The first day of your period is day one, and that is the follicle stimulating hormone. That's when your body gets ready. It, it matures the eggs and it gets them ready for ovulation. And then once you ovulate, everything is gearing up towards, uh, are we gonna have a baby or are we not gonna have a baby? I didn't get a period because I completely skipped the first half of my cycle. <sighs> um, And I went back in. The ultrasound showed that I still had three eggs, even though we knew I ovulated. And so he took pictures and he consulted with another doctor. Because there were basically two, three options. I could wait until I got a period. Um, they could give me the trigger shot again. Or they could put me on birth control to reset my cycle. I'm sorry. And so, um, The reproductive endocrinologist um, said not to give me the trigger shot, that it would be better to do the birth control for three weeks to reset my cycle. And then once I got a period again, I could take the fertility meds again which was sitting on my fridge. There's a lot of stress and heartbreak that goes into this. And I don't think that a lot of people understand that. I 
I did confirm that I don't have like PCOS or anything, um, which is good. <laughs> so I was just like, this feels like such a step backwards. You're telling me I have to go on birth control to try to have a baby. <laughs> so I'm supposed to go um, October 28th for another ultrasound, I think. Um, and he said, that he doubted I would have a period after the three weeks of the birth control. <laughs> so I think that the point is either I get a period on my own or they'll give me um, <laughs> medication to induce a period. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I have just been, I've just been, <laughs> this is a real depression. And he wants to help, but he doesn't know how. And I don't know how to articulate what I need. I don't know what I need. I did reach out to my doctor, like my um, my primary, and I asked for a referral to psychology which she immediately wrote me back and she was like I sent an urgent referral um but this is like an actual depression I think the hardest part is just not understanding why my body won't do what it's supposed to do did I wait too long like I mean, I'm 35, which I didn't think was too old, but maybe it is. And my poor doctor, <laughs> I give him a hard time. <sighs> and he's doing his best to help me, and I know that. And there's a lot going on at work. Um, I have worked with the same people for the last two years. Well, yeah, two years. And the boss that I started with retired at the end of February. And so they promoted um, someone in my office to being our executive director. And she's giving me a hard time. I, like I've worked with this person for the last two years and so that's stressful but um it's gonna be okay like I'm gonna be okay I um I had a really good job interview that I actually just came from <laughs> I think that they liked me because they walked me around the building and introduced me and basically told me that they want me they just it's a matter of you know checking my references and... but it's working for a school district still and it's actually better because it's still Monday through Friday I would get all the holidays off I mean I get the holidays most of them off now and I get like a week and a half at Christmas but this would be longer and you get paid during the summer and you don't have to work um, I worked in the school district before as um, an aide, it's paraprofessional is the actual term, or aid, special education aid, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did that back in like 2011, 
but back then school districts they didn't pay very well um it's gotten better so it's really just gonna be dependent on how much money they offer me because i have to pay my car <laughs> and my loan and but i think when i'm in a better place We'll do more of the ASMR. Um, definitely. I mean, I'm not abandoning that. <sighs> we have new downstairs neighbors, but they are actually really, really great. Um, as soon as they moved in, I was like, I need to introduce myself. I need to have a good relationship with these people. And so I wrote a note and I was like, hi. This is my name, this is my husband's name, this is my kid's name, we're upstairs. I left them my cell phone number, I was like, please, 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 if we're being loud, let me know. And the wife immediately texted me and she was like, thank you so much, you know, please let us know if we're being loud. And I just want to let you know that I've got two kids and they're younger, so, but it's been great. It's been super, super great. We haven't had any issues. So, um, there should definitely be more quiet time in my future. It'll just be a matter of having alone time. And right now, like, I can only, like, I'm sitting down to film right now because it's, I get off work at 1 on Fridays. Typically, I'd get off at noon, but because I leave early two days a week to go to class, I have to work. I have to make up those hours on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. So, I worked till one and then I went to the interview and now I'm home and that's just what's been going on um I know I don't really I don't know maybe this will be helpful for somebody because I don't think anybody wants to sit around and watch a girl cry about the fact that she can't have a baby <laughs> But it's good for me, so it's just good to get things out and talk. And I promised an update, and clearly we're not taking a pregnancy test together, so it's been really weird going over a month without a period. I mean, I guess there are some upsides. <laughs> where we're at. I have to start everything over. Well, I need my body to start over, basically, is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if I'm, like, stressed, if I'm just that stressed out that my body is like, look, we don't need to be doing this right now. And I'm like, yes, we do. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. This is a crap video. I shouldn't even put this up. But I'm gonna because there may be someone out there going through what I'm going through. Or maybe I'll get lucky and someone who has been through this will stumble across my video and give me some insight because I don't understand. I really don't understand like how do you skip the first half of your cycle and go straight to producing brand new eggs but he could have he said they could have been cystic I think which is probably why they didn't try to send me into ovulation and I am so tired of having my blood drawn Oh, like I can't even begin to tell you. Like I'm not bothered by needles. It's, I mean, I used to be. I think everybody used to be when they were a kid. Nobody likes getting shots. But I have been like, uh, I am pro-vaccination. Let me just put that out there. 
uh, I think that people who don't vaccinate are extremely misinformed and I will pray for your children. My best friend, my best friend is an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> so, um, I respect people's right to choose. Don't respect you if you don't make the choice to vaccinate though. I'm just gonna say that because that's how I feel. Sorry about that. My phone rang <laughs> while I was filming. That was the job interview that I just came from and they just called to offer me the position. So now I have to figure out the finance part with HR because that's really gonna be just what makes or breaks it for me. I have to make a certain amount of money. I mean, like I'm not saying you have to give me, you know, $20 an hour or anything, but I can't go, it has to be higher than 10. I make like 13, 13, 24 an hour right now. <laughs> So it's gonna have to be like around the same for me to say yes. I guess I'll have to just hope for the best. But I forgot where I left off and I'll watch this video and I'll remember and then I'll be like, oh, I wish I would have remembered while I was filming. Oh, I do. Well, I don't remember where I left off <laughs> before my phone rang. But I do remember that I promised to tell you my funny story. And now it doesn't even seem that funny. But at the time, because it had like literally just happened, I don't know, the day before I filmed my stupid makeup video, I was in the bathroom <laughs> and I was on my phone browsing Reddit. <laughs> which is so addicting but I was sitting there for so long that I didn't realize that I had completely lost all feeling in both of my legs <laughs> and when I tried to stand up I literally fell head first into the wall <laughs> I was just like bent over bam <laughs> oh lord at the time it was absolutely hilarious, but my legs hurt so bad. <laughs> oh, you you know, like when your legs go to sleep and you're just like, oh my God, that pins and needle feeling, please just make it go away. But that was my funny story. <laughs> it's still funny to me because I'm the one that it happened to and maybe it'll be funny to you guys. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, so that's it, and at least I'm not crying, right? So, yeah, good things. Send me good vibes and baby dirt.